Hey guys, what's going on? It is the Shrothinator here, and I want to talk to you guys about some updates that have uh, come out for the full game already. And I wanted to say, um, there was a viewer in uh, a video that I made a while ago, um, like a month or two ago. No, it was like, a, it was like, yeah, a month or two ago. I don't know, I'm stupid. So, maybe just over a month ago I made this video, and... This guy uh, commented saying, they added Sage Northcut, and I was thinking, like, he thought that that video was, like, current, like, a video I just put up or something. So, I went ahead and said, no, they didn't add Sage Northcut um, to the full roster. He wasn't in the roster reveal. Um, I was hearing he was probably going to be in the first, um, the first DLC pack or something. And he goes, no, there's something on the forums. And the devs themselves are saying, like, they put out Jessica Aguilar from uh, Women's Strawweight. They put Conor McGregor at welterweight and Sage Northcutt at lightweight. And I was like, what? So I was actually going to go check the forums until I actually checked this. Because I have the game pre-installed. Went to update history. And boom. Shows it right there. That is confirmed. I'm going to go ahead and look through all of this shit with you guys. So, start, up, start off at the top. Sage Northcutt and Jessica Aguilar are both actually in the game, and then Conor McGregor also will be at Welterweight. Added player notifications for various in-game events such as live events, weekly accolades, updated the appearance of Rosa Namajunas and Frankie Edgar, and increased crate fighter maximum saves to 22 fighters. That's way better than just 10. <laughs> um, I'm very glad that they fixed up Frankie Edgar. Um, I looked at his model for this game, and it was awful. It looked... I thought it looked great in the first game. The second game, I thought it looked pretty bad. But... I'm so happy they added Jessica Aguilar and Sage Northcutt. Um, I personally didn't care that they put my character at welterweight. It's probably gonna be a shitty welterweight character anyway. So, whatever. But Jessica Aguilar and Sage Northcutt, I'm actually a fan of both of them. Especially Sage Northcutt. I think Sage will be a future champion one day. He's just got to get um, the right training. He needs to leave his father for training. He needs to go to TriStar. And then Jessica Aguilar is was like the best women's strawweight that wasn't in the UFC yet. Um, she was the... I think she was the World Series of Fighting strawweight champion there. And she came to the UFC and she's a beast. She really is. Um... Player notifications for various in-game events such as live events and weekly accolades. Um, I think that kind of speaks for itself right there. Um, yeah, I don't know about Rose Nahat now. You know, this um model. I don't. I didn't really. I can't remember if that looked really good or bad. I think it looked pretty bad. So good that they fixed that up. Gameplay. Fix stamina recovery issue when striking during opponent's transition. Okay. Uh, to finish the fight strikes damage to be more powerful and sped up recovery time or to fix balance issues. Okay. Uh, tune punch animations for back mount flat. To finish the fight camera. Oh, that's good. That's good. They, yeah, they had some weird camera angles. <laughs> Gameplay slash animation fixes. Miscellaneous broadcast UI fixes. Audio fixes. Presentation camera fixes. Stability fixes. Added ability to import career and offline creative fighters into Ultimate Team. Oh, that's pretty cool. Adjusted Ultimate Team AI difficulty settings for single player championships. Changed 5 round fights in ranked championships and Ultimate Team to only occur for title fights. Yeah, I saw there was a problem with that. I was kind of confused why we were having title fights and... I, I lost some 5 round title fights as a champion. And they actually weren't title fights, it was just a random five round fight for some reason. Improved start fight flow for ultimate team. A added adaptive difficulty to career mode, difficulty adjusted to the player's power ranking. Setting can be adjusted in gameplay settings for the career mode hub. Added score targets to skill challenge results screen. Increased creative fighter maximum saves of 20 fighters. Oh, if you read up there, it's actually 22 fighters now, so ignore that. And then Added matchmaking settings display for quick fight. Gameplay disable auto twitch taunt, taunt for users. So I believe that means they won't taunt automatically now, which would be good. 
Increase sway slash young counter damage. Increase ground and pound damage. Remove fatigue punches during the limped health event. Um, oh, so like if you get your, um, if you get your leg rocked, um, I don't know if during your leg rock you're able to like, uh, throw normal punches now, or if it's like immediately after, like your leg's still red and then you can throw normal punches. I don't know how exactly that's going to work out. Added leg kick, check damage. Oh, that's very good. There you go. Marshall Mine was talking about that in one of his videos. That's very good. Increased stamina attacks on consecutive spinning slash mid-air strikes. Tuned miss strike stamina attacks. Decreased Superman punch range. Added stamina penalty to two, uh, tie whips. Art and presentation fixes. Gameplay animation fixes and stability fixes. So see, they, they fixed a fuckload of shit already. And the game hasn't even come out yet. Dirt. They're making sure this shit is good. They don't want it to be like last game. So, big news. Sage Northcutt, Jessica Aguilar, Conor McGregor at welterweight. This is awesome. This is very, very good. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far from EA. They're on top of shit. They're going to keep putting up updates every month, I'm guessing. So, just like last year. Except, of course, this game will be better. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys hit that like button also comment comment let me know what uh what you thought about this video and also let me know out of these three characters stage north cut lightweight jessica aguilar in strawweight and conor mcgregor at welterweight let me know which guys you are looking forward to use most out of those three um or lady um also, Sage North Cut Jessica Aguilar, that means they are both open in the Twitch League. So if you guys want to claim any of them or trade any of the ones that you currently have for them, all you got to do is let me know. So let me know in the comments here. Let me know on Twitter for that. Um, wherever. The whole list is in my Twitch bio for everybody that can be um, taken for this league. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.